Thank you very much. It's good to be here in Boston, and thank you very much for coming here tonight. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I teach film. I make films. Um, I would like to know, I'm not a meditator. What does meditation, can you say anything about how meditation might connects to your creative process or to the, might help the creative process of my students or myself? Yes, I can. Uh, will you? Uh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tonight's talk is Consciousness, Creativity, and the Brain. And um, if you have a golf ball size consciousness, when you read a book, you'll have a golf ball size understanding. When you look out, a golf ball size awareness. And when you wake up in the morning, a golf ball size wakefulness. But if you could expand that consciousness, then you read the book, more understanding. You look out, more awareness. And when you wake up, more wakefulness. It's consciousness. And there's an ocean of pure, vibrant consciousness inside each one of us. And it's right at the source and base of mind, right at the source of thought, and it's also at the source of all matter. And Maharishi Mahesh Yogi teaches a technique called Transcendental Meditation. It's a simple, easy, effortless technique, yet supremely profound, that allows any human being to dive within experiencing subtler levels of mind and intellect and transcend and experience this ocean of pure consciousness. This pure consciousness is called by modern physics the unified field. It's at the base of all mind and all matter. And they now say, modern science says, all of matter, everything that is a thing emerges from this field. And this field has qualities like bliss, intelligence, creativity, universal love, energy, peace. And it's not the intellectual understanding of this field, but the experiencing of it that does everything. You dive within and transcending, experiencing this field of pure consciousness, and you enliven it, you unfold it, it grows. And the final outcome of this growth of consciousness is called enlightenment. And enlightenment is the full potential of all of us human beings. And a side effect of enlivening this consciousness is negativity starts to recede. When I started meditating, I was filled with anxieties, filled with fears, kind of a, a depression and anger. And I took this anger out on my first wife. And after two weeks of meditation, she comes to me and she says, what's going on? And I was quiet for a moment because it could have been any number of things she might have been referring to. <laughs> but um, I finally said, what do you mean? And she said, this anger, where did it go? And I didn't even realize that it had lifted. Now, these negative things like anger and depression and sorrow, they're beautiful things in a story, but they're like a poison to the filmmaker. They're a poison to the painter. They're a poison to creativity. They're like a vice grip. If you are super depressed, you can't hardly get out of bed, let alone think ideas, have that creativity flowing. So. It's money in the bank to get that beautiful consciousness growing, which is flowing creativity, the ability to catch ideas at a deeper level. Intuition grows. This field is a field of pure knowingness. You dive in there, you sort of just know how to go. You know how to solve solutions. It's like an ocean of solutions. And you, you can just feel this thing growing. But the ultimate thing for me is the enjoyment of the doing, the enjoyment of life grows huge. I love making films now more than ever before. Ideas flow more. Everybody has more fun on the set. 
Creativity flows. There's no, people look like friends and not like enemies. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, and it's us. In Vedic science, this field of pure consciousness is called Atma, the self, the self of us all. At that level, as Dr. John Hagelin would tell you, at that level of life, we are all one. We're one. Diversity up here, unity down below. It's, it's, a, you'll, it's a great thing for the filmmaker. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, would, I would like to have a glass of water. <laughs> if that's possible. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Jay, bless you, man. This is Jay, my friend and assistant. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's not quite as good as pure consciousness, but it's really good. Hello. How you doing? Not bad, how are you? Good. Well, my name is Alex Harvey. I've been meditating for a while. I want to know if there was a moment where you realized the effect that pure consciousness had on your work. Right from the very beginning. And um, like I said, I might have been, um, uh, I, I think I had so many anxieties and fears, and I felt those lifting. And bliss is a thing in this field, the unified field. Bliss, they say, is the sweetest nectar of life. Bliss is physical, emotional, mental, spiritual happiness. And you can vibrate with this bliss. And it's this happiness from within. They have a saying, true happiness isn't out there. True happiness lies within. And I always wondered, where is this within? And, and they don't say where it is. And then they don't even say how to get to it. This is the beauty of this technique. There's lots of forms of meditation, but with transcendental meditation, to me, the key is the word transcend, to dive all the way in. It's a huge realm between the surface of life and this fundamental pure consciousness, but it's there. And when you're in it, you know you're in it. It's familiar, but it's you. And right away, a happiness, but it's not like a goofball happiness. It's a, it's, a, it's a thick beauty. It's a thick beauty to appreciate life and living. And why suffer? Suffering starts to go. And people say, well, you've got to have anger. You've got to have an edge you know, to create. You've got to know about anger. You've got to have energy. You've got to have clarity to create. You've got to be able to catch ideas. You've got to be able to be strong enough to fight unbelievable pressure and stress and the whole thing in this world. That will lift because this whole thing is tied to world peace, but it's going to be a better world, but it's still a very tough world. And this just gives you more and more and more ability to say it just looks beautiful. It's way, 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 way better. And this happened right away. Thank you. You bet. <laughs>